right. Look, I even got us a bag of little candy right here. We've had a lot of nice guests, but look, look there, Hank, some nice candy for us. Oh. Yeah, look here. I tied him on the jig, and I thought, well, I'll throw it out there and make sure I got the drag set. Caught an eight pounder on the first cast. Didn't even hit the water. Right you under? Right there, just now. Dang. Sunshine, not in the shade. Now bring him in the shade, take him in the sunshine. Unbelievable. Here, I threw that thing right there while he goes, boom, the first cast. Mikey! Are your glasses clean and you need to clean them? I feel them. good. You're looking good, Mike. How you like it? You are looking good. I'm feeling, I feel good. <laughs> you know what I do when I'm not fishing and I'm not hunting? <laughs> I'm testing Kamir deer all the time. And speaking of testing Kamir deer, I'm going fishing today with a Kamir deer buddy of mine, a guy I've turkey hunted with a lot, had a lot of fun with, and he says he can fish. So I'm going to find out today if Michael Wandell, the big famous outdoorsman, is really a fisherman. But I know one thing, whether he catches a fish or not, you cannot be with Michael Wandell. He's kind of like Jeff Foxworthy. It's very hard to be with him and not have a lot of laughs and a lot of fun. So I promise you, today is going to be a very fun show, and we're going to see if Michael Waddell actually can catch a fish. So stay with me. I'm Hank Parker. All right, you see that pine tree right here, Mike, at that little tree leaning? That little bush right there, little brush. Mm-hmm, right where that pine tree, that little leaning tree is. Yeah. All right, you're about a foot too foot short, too but you've got a chance. I know a rapper named Too Short. Maybe put you a bobber on there? <laughs> yeah. This is pretty good. You know what? I know how to use a bobber. There you go. Did you sit down to eat a candy bar? I ate, I sat down. I was going to make a phone call, and I got a piece of candy. A phone call? You know call. what? I deserve, well, I deserve that yeah. place. To thank you. Look at here, folks. Berkeley jig, Hank Parker football head. I was just slow casting right over here on the edge of this thing, streamlining it down that bank. Slow rolling. Slow rolling. <laughs> slow roll, streamlining, double pull jerk and uh, got right over that stick and he hit it right, hammered right, how it. How'd he hit it? How'd he do it? It's a top lip bite. <laughs> Big guy was in the pocket. Back in these little holes like that. When I was growing up, we had this little old Mike, you're still growing up. I'm still growing up. Okay, all right, I'm all talking right. about when I was really growing up. Okay. I didn't, when I quit growing, I'm still growing up mentally. Well, I got you, all right. When I was growing up physically, that's more technical. There you go. My papa would take us back here, back out to the lake, it, and, and it was all them shiners and bobbers. And then we'd go pick up the shiners, there he is. Just keep talking. Woo! That's right. That's him. That's exactly the one I was going to try to catch. Listen. Drumming. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> All right. Spitting and drumming. That's Mostly what I'm talking spitting. about. I broke the ice with me. Mostly spitting. Mostly spitting. He's trying to spit it out. <laughs> one. There he is. Good That's a good time. fish. Yep, I called it. I thought he might be in there. What do you think, Mike? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, I'm, I feel like a scout. What do you think that fish was? Pound, pound of hang? <laughs> I don't think so. I just know if I was on with my papa on them shiners, I don't know if he'd have went back that quick. <laughs> think he'd been a little slower to get back in there. Oh, yeah, he hit it. He hit it pretty hard, looked like, didn't he? He hit it three times. Boom, boom, bam. Is it boom, boom, bam? Boom, 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 bam. I like that. Golly, Bob, he ate your tail off, man. I thought it was toot, toot, boom. Boom, boom, bam. That's what he did. Boom, boom, bam. You kind of pulled your britches down and spanked your behind. Uh, yeah. You didn't even know it. But when he did that, bam. Bam got him in trouble. Bam got him in the boat. I felt one I thought a while ago, yeah. sure enough, but it was in between them sticks. I was kind of in between getting hung. Mm -hmm. 
Boom, boom, bam. Boom, boom, bam. Bam. Give him a warning. One warning, Cass. That's it. I'm serious now. From this point on. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. That's what I'm talking about. For real. For real. Mikey. That's what I'm talking you about, Hank. You pretty, you pretty, you pretty thing. You, you that's pretty what thing. Oh. <laughs> Watch this what? in this clear water. I'm going to let him go, won't you? I tell you what. Weaving. Hank Parker is a fish catching machine. Weaving. I'm getting mad at him. There he you is. get it, Mikey! I just had to let him. I just had to let him swim yeah, around a little bit with his good, mouth. Buddy. Look at that. Broke the ice. You Son, did it. we done ice skating now, Hank. You did it. We hey, broke the ice. It's over with now. My it's attitude, over with. my attitude has changed. Oh, you got them big stiff rods. I ain't used to that cane okay. pole's up being a little. Grab it. Grab that line. Grab that line. Now put your thumb in his mouth. Now you talk ugly to him. You talk to him like you are the man, like he should have never bit your man. Well, little Berkeley, Berkeley power bait there. Y'all <laughs> seen me on the website on Bass Blasters. <laughs> No, and, uh, tell them again what it is. Turkey. Turkey Blaster. Uh, Bass Masters and Turkey Blasters. Dot org. Nonprofit. <laughs> this crazy rascal killed the turkey this morning. Now we'll go down there and catch a fish. We're going to post it on the website. Michael Wadley right. of Turkey Blasters and Bass Masters. You know, you said you said what Roland and Bill say. That, that exactly what I thought it was. Nice large mouth. I knew it for cast. Exactly what I thought it was. A little brindle. A little good color. Good fat, healthy fish. Exactly what you had in mind when you threw it out there, wasn't it? What's he, Hank, about 10? Well, I think he's somewhere between... 7 and 15? He's between a pound and a half and 10. Yeah, between a pound and a half and 10. <laughs> he's pretty... We'll let him go back. Oh, my papa would roll over in his grave if he saw me. Saw me, he'd be thinking fish sticks. <laughs> fish sticks. Boy, what a fun show this is. <laughs> Mikey, so much fun to be around. I'll have to do like Paul Harvey and tell you the rest of the story. Uh, we're we're already about half laughed out. We went turkey hunting uh, at the crack of dawn, actually up about an hour before daylight. Billy, my son Billy, and Mikey, and myself, and uh, killed a turkey, by the way. And then we come to the lake with no really no agenda. Uh, we don't have to use any specific baits. Uh, we don't have to promote or do anything. We just went fishing, and. Uh, uh, oh, Mikey, he was really excited about going fishing, and he loves it. I'm telling you, it was a lot of fun, and, and we, we caught a lot of good fish, too. We caught a lot of them on jigs, we caught some on lizards, different baits, but uh, there was one kind of specific pattern, and I didn't really tell him exactly what that was. I figured it out pretty quick. Those fish were hanging. There was just a little shelf there, and, uh, and we'd go in these bays and these coves, and there would be this little shelf out from the bank, not right on the bank, about five feet out from the bank. And uh, Mikey will probably be watching this show and he'll be mad at me because I didn't tell him that. He hit it, but it felt like a little, it almost felt mm -hmm. just like you bumped it on that structure. Now look, my line was moving. Let me tell you the most important thing is remember what your jig feels like without a fish on it. And when it starts feeling different, you better stop whining and jerk on it because it don't cost you nothing to jerk. That's true. Jerks are free. Say it again how he did it. He said, boop, boop, bam. <laughs> boop, boop, bam. <laughs> <laughs> this just looks like a fish right here, Hanky. Did you get him? Mm -hmm. I got one on two right here. Good. Too good. What I'm talking about. I got a big in my head. Do you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I prefer the one. Well, ain't many times I've got a fish on, I'm reeling them in and looking at somebody else's fish. <laughs> How many times that happened, Hank? Not real often. That's a big fish there, Mikey. Ooh, you got a nice fish. I mean, you pretty thing, you. You pretty thing, you. Look at that. You pretty thing. <laughs> Give, me. Give me some skin on that one. You pretty thing, you. I went to the candy. Huh, got you a I went to a strawberry lollipop and it was on. Yeah. How about that? How about that? It's all right. Look here, I'm gonna talk you something. We're throwing these jigs, Hank Parker jig, power bait. The secret to that bait's that chigger crawl on the back of it. But he and I are both sitting here and we both got little tickles. 
And we said, they're little fish. It must be yep. little bitty fish. I mean, they're just tickling it. My tail was pulled down on there, and I said, man, it, Little yep. bitty fish, pull it down. Throw it back in there, and boom. Bam, two Bam. good ones. How about that? That's all right. That's a good one. That's the kind of fish I wanted to see come out right there. That was, that was a good one. Uh, he wasn't a little like we thought, though. Could be the fish of the day, but we ain't going to quit playing. Get him? There he is. Get him, boy. That's pretty good, man. That is a real good one. Michael Watson! Look at what he <laughs> Get him? Woo! You're starting to show out a little bit now. That's what, what I'm talking got, about. Michael? It's time to get in. Hey, your phone's ringing. Get that yeah, phone Yeah, the phone's ringing. That's what I'm talking about, son. Got to get right there. I got Babe Winkham on speed dial over here for Hank Parker. Come to me in my block. We block. having a good time. That chigger crawl is magic. That's what I'm talking about. Get in the boat. Look here. I don't see you full of hot. But hey, if you need me, when you need me to check in, coach, you just tell me. Hey, don't go away. We got some more fishing action with Mikey Waddell coming up right after these important words from our great sponsor. Okay, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to hang Parker. Come on, bring him on, baby. Be a man. Oh, dang it! It wasn't as smooth though. Do it, Mikey. Oh, Mikey. Well, right now, if you had one thing to say to Bill Dance, what would it be? Bill, don't hate me. Just, you know, we all fishing, Bill. And I grew up watching you. <laughs> and it's, it's a new, it's a new day out here. You know, you got chatter cranks, rooster pollos. You got all kind of baits out there. And, 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 and I love you, Bill, and I just want you to love me back. There he is. That's a big old fish right Dude. there. That's shoulders on it. Night. That's a pretty fish. You pretty thing. You pretty thing, you. Look at that. You pretty thing. That's a pretty thing. fish. We think pound the hang. Yeah, I'd say at least. Look a here, look here, I'll show you something. We need to get this. That fish has been tagged. See the tag on ah. It's like a banded duck. How about that? All right, let's see if somebody got some good eyes. If we can read the tag. Look right here. We got a tag. <laughs> you know, bass are are it's the most sought after game fish in the world. And uh, they get a lot of fishing pressure on them and they're constantly changing. You know, I look back when I first started bass fishing, they were much more predictable than they are today. Uh, the late great Hall of Famer, John Powell, uh, made a statement really early on about catch and release. Uh, catch and release is gonna be the preservation of the sport but it's also going to make those fish much more difficult to catch because they get caught and released, caught and released, caught and re you're giving them a college education by the time they weigh four pounds. And uh, so your techniques have to vary as time changes. The bass is really pretty sophisticated. And when you catch them, I remember when the buzz bait first came out, it seemed like you could go to a farm pond, you could catch every bass that was in that pond the first time he ever saw it. After that, it, begot, it, it became less effective and less effective and less effective. So changing up, changing baits, changing techniques, changing presentation is really critical to catching bass. Southern Pond Management. Tag number 4899. 4899, that's what we need to know. That's the reason I came out here to catch that 4899. 4899 is history. You're going to have to catch 4896 or 7. Hank, I'm proud of you catching that fish. That's only the 797 10 pound bass you caught. I'm proud of you, man. You deserved it. <laughs> they were fishing up a storm, though. You're, a, you're an awesome woodsman, an awesome hunter. And a lot of people don't even really know how good you really are because you've got such a great personality. And I just love it, it's all I ever did. You know I mean? All I ever did that I really cared a lot about other than my family, you know, my daddy and all. And, and, and I was real lucky 
I was really lucky when I was young to have my daddy, you know, just did all of it with me. Yeah, that's so and, and, we, and a lot of it we learned together. I mean, I remember one year when you talk about fi even fishing, it was it, me and daddy were like little high school buddies. It was weird. I mean, and I don't think he wouldn't wear my butt out if he still will, but. But man, that's what got it all started. And that's what I just love. Me and Daddy would hunt and fish. And like that's I said, awesome. after my mom passed away when I was 16, that's when we really got, that was it. You know, you're talking about how now, you, you find something. you have any something. brothers or sisters? I, I got one sister, but, and she was like two years old when my mom passed away. Oh, man. Leukemia. Man, that's so hard on me, Dad. And I was sure hard on you. We days. actually, we actually had foster kids. I think we had a, when my mom passed away, we had eight youngins in the house. No kidding. About that. And so yeah, it was it was something that was a tough deal. That's a good one. Right. He's dead gum right. You got him. He's pretty. That's my best for today for sure. He's a pretty one. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, well Mike, he can catch a fish. I I didn't know whether he could or not. We had a ball. He is such a great guy. He's a great outdoorsman. Uh, a lot of people know him as a cut up, and he is a lot of fun to be with. But I'm telling you, he is the real deal. He loves the outdoors, he loves to hunt, and he loves to fish, and he's a lot of fun to be with. So today was a great show. He got a little bit of lesson on how to fish a jig, uh, an interesting bait, something he hadn't done a lot, caught a pretty good fish on it too, by the way. A lot of fun for us. Hope you enjoyed the show. I look forward to seeing you again next week. God bless you, I'm Hank Parker. I got some more testing to do. Chester, you wanna go with me? Come on, buddy. Come on. He's getting so old, he can't get up there. Come on, come on. Oh, here we go. We got some come here deer to put out, buddy. You my helper, aren't you? I need a good helper. A good helper. Hold on tight, buddy. Hold on.